I'm going to be going over a paper called Age Changes in the External Dimensions of Adult Bone that has strong evidence that increasing bone length after skeletal maturity or epiphyseal fusion is possible. So the first thing that's interesting on this paper is that they say the size of the right humeri increases substantially in all dimensions. Presumably this means length as well. It is proposed that this apopositional growth in adulthood is reaction to two perhaps related processes, response to the changing diameter density of adult bone and reaction to increased demands placed on the dominant side in adulthood. So they think that the increase in length could be due to increased mechanical loading. Um, I've speculated that this is due to torsional loading. Um, so how, how do they, um, they, they do the, this study? The skeletal material examined here is derived from the Kleinburg ossuary um, located near Kleinburg, Ontario, excavated in seven, 1970. And basically what they did is those humeri with epiphysis fused but proximal epiphyseal lines still visible were classified as young adults. So they said that any humeri with unfused epiphysis is young adults and any humeri with um, fused epiphysis is older adults. And they compared the, the two, the diameters of the two dimensions. So while the, so this is evidence, but not proof because this is not a longitudinal study. Um, so there still could be other explanations to why they see the difference in length. Younger adults were, younger and older adults were compared. So they, and what's interesting is that they, they outright say the increase in total length and physiological length may be tied to con the continuing apopositional process. A proportional increase at the articular surfaces has been cited as a possible explana explanation for the slight increase in total body height seen up to ages 25 to 30. So th this paper thinks that the change could be due to articular cartilage endochondral ossification. Um, my personal theory is that it's due to um, a fluid-based torsional model. So you can see the increase in bone length here is quite significant. 316.9 in older adults versus 309.5 in younger adults. Um, that's quite significant. I don't think that a significant amount could be due to articular cartilage endochondral ossification in um, older adults versus younger adults. Um, there's actually a slight increase, decrease. Um, that could be due to some sort of atrophy. Um, the thing about the humerus is that there's a lot, there's a lot of muscle attachment, so it's logical to, to think that mu muscular loading and atrophy could possibly contribute to bone size and shape. Um, so they mentioned the lack of t length increase on the left side um, confounds the explanation that it's due to articular cartilage endochondral ossification. So this means that it's very likely due to mechanical loading since people usually load the right side greater than the left. One thing about the legs is that there's really no unilateral loading because you're always using the, the other leg to support whether, when you're kicking and, and so on. But I also think um, that the reason that we see this anecdotal evidence in of length increase in the arms but not the legs is due to the fact that there's more torsional loading in the arms um, one of the possibilities is that, um, is for example, you have the chest muscle attachment, which attaches to the humeri, as well as the biceps attachment. So that, that contrasting force, um, really puts good torsional loading and that's sort of, uh, the, the muscle attachments are just better in the arm than they are in the leg. Um, in terms of the other paper, there's not really any other interesting anecdotes, um, mostly about other things. Um, so I sent an email to this author. Um, she's still alive, I think, or at least she was alive as of 2019. So I will see if I get any results. Um, um, you can see with regards to humorous length measurements of the left presumed non the side are the least affected by age dependent factors. I think that's due to mechanical loading. Um, 
but yeah, this is a strong paper with strong evidence, um, not proof, but um, yeah, the only way is to test it out and do longitudinal studies. Um, but I think this is strong evidence of in terms of if you want to cite that um, height increase after skeletal maturity is possible, this is a good paper to cite.